Hello, my wonderful people. <laughs> How are you all doing? How's your weekend? I hope your weekend was great and fabulous, just as you are. Oh, welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Reality. Oh, I'm just waking up, guys. Welcome, welcome. Today is Monday, 17th of April 2023, and today's topic is a divine parentage. Praise the Lord. So, before we start this beautiful morning, Let's do the honor by praying to God. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We all know you. We appreciate you. Thank you, Father, for making last week a successful week for us. Thank you, Father, for this week you have ushered us into. All things are indeed working together for our good because we love you. We gather this morning to start our day with your word so we can get strength from your word. As we meditate on your word this morning, we thank you for the truth of your word. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning to you. This is the best time to listen to the word of God. Praise the Lord. When you just wake up, you it. Hallelujah. And the topic is a divine parentage. Hmm. First John 4, 4 says, Here are godly O children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I love this verse so much. Being born again means you are God's offspring you are a divine being you're not an ordinary person mm -hmm. because you have in you the same life that god has Woof. when jesus walked the earth he had this consciousness in john 6 8 he said for i came down from heaven he affirmed his divine origin this is how you must talk this is how you must think and live be conscious of your divine origin. You aim from God. Your true parentage is divine. Like the Lord Jesus speak with confidence and authority in affirming who you are. Recall what the psalmist said in Psalm 82 verse 6. I have said, ye are gods and all of you are children of the Most High. We are gods because we are born of God. Just in case you're thinking the psalmist might have gone too far. Read the words of the master himself in John 10, 34. He iterated the same words. He said, is it not written in the law? I said, ye are gods. Align yourself with God's word. His thought and vision of you. And speak accordingly. Every so often... Affirm that you are an associate of good kind, as Jesus says, so are you in this world. Yen is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. First John 4, 17. Let your consciousness of who you are in Christ, the consciousness of your divinity, control everything you say and do. Let it control everything about your life hallelujah isn't it isn't this wonderful praise the lord what a way to start our beautiful week praise the lord a divine parentage and pastor is reminding us as you're starting this beautiful week this is who you are you are from god yes you know just as physically they say who when you do something wrong, say who who give birth to this child they blame the parents yeah so because we carry some attributes from our parents because they gave birth to us yes so that is who we are we came from god so we carry his attributes we carry power we possess his greatness hallelujah praise the lord until this done on you you keep on living you keep on living in the temerity of Satan. So you have to leave that, that, that world. And you have to realize who you are. Because Satan has nothing in you. That is the truth. You are the one that is giving Satan the opportunity. You are the one that is giving Satan the key to your castle. Yeah. You are the one that is giving Satan the key to your children. Willingly. <laughs> sisters and brothers we cannot begin to start and we cannot begin to finish you have to know who you are you have to talk right you have to live accordingly to who you are don't just say you have to live accordingly mind the things you say praise the lord 
because that is how you give the key to Satan to manipulate you. If not, Satan does not have power, but we give him access sometimes. Praise to Lord. So do not give Satan access to your life. So with that being said, let's take the confessions together. I walk in dominion over the element of this world and over demons, disease, and death. Hallelujah. Because I am born of God, the life of Christ is manifested in me. From glory to glory, and I walk in the consciousness of my divine origin. Ooh, ooh, ooh. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. For the story, you can look at 2 Peter 1 verse 4, John 5 verse 26, and 1 John 5 11 to 13. On your Bible reading plan, you can look at Luke 16 and 4 Samuel 1 to 2. To your Bible reading plan, Mark 3 verse 1 to 7 and Leviticus 17. So, please at your leisure time, please go through the scriptures. Then you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In Coquito, so bombard yourself with faithful messages. Hallelujah. And if you're here, I trust to have been blessed by today's devotional. Because today's devotional is so awesome. It's reminding us of you, please. It's reminding us of who you are. And if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ. This is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God. I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you pay this prayer to me, congratulations. You are now a child of God. As I said before, study your Bible. Look for a believing church. And bombard yourself with faithful messages. What a time we had this morning. And if this is your content you love, please do me the honor on your notification bell. So anytime I upload a video, you'll be first notified. And please share my video. Subscribe to my channel if you've not. And God bless you as you do so. So before we go, let's pray together. Uh, Father, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we thank you, we bless you, we honor you. Thank you for your word that we have had this morning. And Father, indeed, we know who we are in Christ Jesus. We are born to win. We are a success. Father, we thank you for your word today. Thank you for this week. All things are working together for our good. Thank you for making every cooked way straight in our path this week. And thank you for your blessings to have it in the soul. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys. You have a beautiful, lovely day. I'll see you same time tomorrow. Bye.